Okay, so for this video, I'm just going to show you how to do a voice thread assignment. So you're going to read through the directions that I want you guys to have here. And I'm going to scroll down. Um, you guys are going to see this button. It says load chapter one voice thread assignment in a new window. And I'm going to select that. It may take a few moments. Okay, so you're going to go into voice thread setup. And all you're going to do is you're going to click course view. All right, and you're going to notice uh, right now there's nothing there, but once you start loading presentations, your presentations are going to show up. So I'm going to show you how to um, add your presentation. So you would have at this point done your three slides, and now you are ready to do a voice thread presentation. So I'm going to click Add Your Own, and I'm going to create a new voice thread, and I'm going to Add Media, and I'm going to go to my computer because that's where my data file is. And I'm going to go to... The file where um, that is, and it's here in courses, and it's graduate courses, and it is 6305, and it is, is it in Thomas, where did I save that? Ah, here we go. It's this one right here, and I'm going to open it. Oh, give me a second. Let me close it here real quick. I'm going to save it. Okay, so let's try this again because I did some edits to it. Okay, and what I want you to title it is I want you to title it Chapter 1, and I want you to put your name. I'm going to put Dr. Edwards Example so that you can, so that when I'm grading them, it allows me to see, okay, this is Chapter 1, and it looks for your name because sometimes um, that's a little bit easier. I'm just going to click Save. All right, and it takes a little bit of time for it to process, so I'm just going to wait for it here to process, and it's going to upload my file. Okay, so there's my file, there's my uh, PowerPoint, and I'm going to add a comment. All right, so this is what I want you to do. I want you to add a comment. I want you to tell us about your presentation. So a few tips on presentation don't go um and take a long time to present you've got three minutes to present your presentation how do you do a voiceover so a voiceover there's this little plus sign you're going to click on this little plus sign and you're going to hit this record button and this record button is you're going to say my presentation is the effect of caffeine on power output then you're going to go while while it's still recording you're going to click this little forward button and that's going to take you to the next slide and you say the hypothesis of this study is caffeine will enhance power output and then I'm going to click the next one and this is your table all right so in the homework assignments I'll tell you to give me a table um, this is going to take a little bit of work because you're going to have to summarize some of the information that you have learned okay and you might have to do one table for the review article and one another slide for the second article I'm fine with that Okay, so once you are done, you're going to X out, and I am going to share and return to the course. Make sure you click share and return to the course, otherwise it's not going to be saved. And I am going to submit, click on that button, and there's my presentation. Okay, so your presentation should show up. You should see some of your classmates. I would encourage you to review and look at some of your classmates' presentations because um, we will do that in the future. So I'm going to have you guys evaluate some of your uh, classmates' presentations. So hopefully that helped.